back to my channel hello amazing friendster we are going to make I'm so excited to show you how to make a homemade hash browns today because this is delicious first thing is I'm going to show you see the parsley right there I'm gonna show you how to cut the parsley without using a knife and a chopping board yes ma'am so this is what I usually do scissors okay parsley on a uh, plastic container like so so what I usually does if you doesn't have a uh, like I said if you doesn't have a chopping board no knife scissors is your best friend here so we're going to do I'm gonna show you to cut and chop our beautiful parsley so I this is the whole thing actually I'm gonna show you so you would believe so that's a whole stem and the leaves and I don't like wasting parts of parsley so put them in put them in this little container use the scissors one cut okay two so now it looks like that so it's gonna be easier for you to cut okay whichever directions you want see that how easy that is yes ma'am yes ma'am see that how easy no hassle beautiful cutting and you want if you want finer uh, chop you can just go ahead and then another chop but this one since we're going to mix this on our hash browns I want something that you can bite on so I think this will be good see how nice and beautiful and easy that is guys yay yes so that's what the secrets that I'm going to show you or I have show you so this is really easy Okay, let me turn down my pan first okay so but anyway so this is our ingredients for our homemade hash browns of course our beautiful shredded potatoes whoop stay in so this is the shredded potatoes what I have right here this is about four uh, medium size of potatoes shredded them about this big you know it's like a uh, shredded coconut and then to keep the freshness of our of your potatoes I put some um, lemon juice okay I put some lemon juice in it and then just leave it for like a minute or two and then afterwards then you can squeeze the juice out so this is pretty much dry and I squeeze them take the water off so you will have a crunchy beautiful hash browns okay so and of course one egg and you're wondering one egg what can you do with one egg because we doesn't want them to be soupy because we want the crunch the texture so we only got one egg okay I have minced onion this is a dried onion I have paprika chili powder garlic powder pepper to taste kosher salt and one of our secret ingredients for our crunchy beautiful hush browns is cornstarch I'm not using a regular flour cornstarch gives so much crunch on your hash browns so this is what I'm going to use of course yeah you can't fry hash browns without oil oil <laughs> so we're going to do it starts cooking right now I have the parsley the onion gonna put in the paprika you can put as much as you want Pretty good our chili powder this chili powder paprika will give so much flavor the color to our hash browns garlic powder mm -hmm. 
pepper to taste. Just a little bit, just a little bit of salt. We don't want them to get too salty. Be good for me. Okay, and then we're gonna put our egg. So this egg is just a binder for our hash browns, okay? And then, our cornstarch. I'm gonna put about uh, two to three tablespoon. Yeah. And you can just add it up if uh, it's needed. It up. And this is very simple. Very simple, very affordable. I know most of us has a uh, potatoes in our fridge. So all you have to do is just grate them. If you have a um, food processor, be easier, you know. Delicious, nice and beautiful. So, let's see if we need more cornstarch. I may be needing a little bit more. Then after this, starts frying. There you go, guys. So we have our uh, oil in the pan, and we doesn't want them to put too much oil, also, okay? Because you are going to fry them very flat, so you don't need to put too much oil. So okay, I'm gonna start on one, and then I'm gonna show you how you can start. Let me try if the oil is hot. A little bit more I'm gonna turn up my heat going to so I already tried one strip of our potatoes I think it's already good so all we have to do is starts on one tablespoon then flatten it out nice okay then just go ahead and put another tablespoon Hear the sizzling right there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Another one. This is good. I'm telling you guys, this is a beautiful hush browns. The crunchiness is just amazing. I can smell the onion, parsley, the garlic. It's so beautiful. So we're going to just fry them for a minute each side and then flip it over. Nice. There you go guys, after a minute, I already flipped one and then I'm gonna show you the other one too. Beautiful. Yay! See how... Wow! See? Crunchy that is. Crunchy, crunchy. And I like this because this is like, you know, mini hash browns. Flip it over and fry them another minute okay and i'm gonna show you the rest after we fry the whole thing all right so we are going to take a look at this and oh yeah i think this is good right there 
Okay. Then we'll put them in our. Ooh, so good. So good. All right. See how nice and beautiful that is, guys. The it's really crunchy and it looks so much better than store bought hash browns. So this is just an amazing flavor. I can smell the onion. I can smell the paprika, uh, the chili uh, powder. A beautiful, beautiful. So. I hope guys that you like my video today and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I still have a lot of videos coming up and enjoy my homemade hash browns. See how nice and beautiful that is. Amazing. Thank you very much guys. See you later. Bye.